Gordon went to go try again. Percy saw Gordon. He already knew the routine was out in town. Gordon will try again. He will push the cars harder. And this time, he got it far back. Shoots me around. He still could do it. He pushed even harder and harder. But then he decided to move his tender. Yes, the Gordon! But then, but however, it wasn't on properly. And then something happened that no one expected. Watch him back your wheel, Gordon. But then something that no, and no, everyone didn't expect this. He his front wheel got caught in. He was thrown into the air. But then he twisted back now. That is weird, said Scully. Oh. Ah, <gasps> that was come pump. That was like weird, said Rosie. Weird. Gordon was so surprised he was about to go into Magic Land. He had just been flipped up to the air, been twisted, and then set back on the track without no injury. Gordon was like a huge amazement. Oh my God, said Gordon. How did this happen? How did this happen? I swear. How did it happen? I don't know, Sir Henry. You're safe, Gordon. You know that, right? Uh, be quiet, said Gordon. I'm not talking to you. Whatever, Sir Henry. You know you just been safe, right? I mean, then Henry had taught Gordon. It was now talking to Gordon a very live lesson. Gordon, you must be nice to your friends, okay, Gordon? I mean... If you're all being nice to your friends, you're not gonna have any friends. You get what well, you get what I'm saying here? And don't say anything yet, Sir Henry. And if you're not nice to friends, they don't wanna be your friend, okay? You choose to be hanging on with the diesel's side. You know that, right, Gordon? And don't say anything. James has been chasing after you. And the reason why Donald put this train in front of here on purpose, not to be mean, he's being here to do it to tell you to stop being like this, Gordon. Okay? You're better than this, alright? Um, Thomas. You didn't even say Thomas' name. He's number one. He's your friend, okay? You're gonna accuse your best You're gonna accuse our number one friend. That's just ridiculous, Gordon. Like I said, the controller said, this is your steam team. The steam mates or steam team, whatever. And you're out hanging out with deals. Because if we all on the whole island of Sodor, if we fight, fought you and the diesels, y'all would be outnumbered by a whole lot. Whole lot. Including the road vehicles. They will be against um, us too. But Henry didn't know that Max was actually on the diesel side and Gordon side. So, so Henry, if you don't, and if you don't share and be nice to your friends and stop being around with the diesels, you don't have any friends. Do you understand? Now you can talk now, Gordon. Gordon had tears in his eyes. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> yes, Henry, I understand. Gordon was now very, very sad and upset. But, however, was very, very sad. But then, the controller arrived. What's going on here, he said crossly. You're supposed to be at work, Gordon. You know that, right? What in the world? What's the, for the, what's the tears for, he said crossly. I just told him a live story, Sir Henry. Gordon, what was this about? And Gordon explained the whole story about it. Oh, he said, well, um, Henry might have taught you a live lesson. Yes, he did, said Gordon. Yes, he did. All right, that's enough, said the controller. All right, Gordon. Since you're heartbroken and that stuff, guess what? Your appropriate punishment will not be that severe, but 
your appropriate punishment, and it's going to be very short. And it's going to be to take these trucks back to the station. I'm uh, sorry, the um, quarry. Ah! What am I saying here to the controller? I mean the docks. Do you understand? Yes, sir, said Gordon Grind. And the controller walked away. I'm sorry, Henry, said Gordon. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, I said Henry. But, I warn you, I'm warning you, do not do it again. I swear, do not. Or else you won't have. This is going to be your second chance. And if you fail the second chance, well, we're not going to be it. You understand? Yes, Henry, said Gordon. Now, White. Now, I'm getting over it now. I understand. Alright, said Henry. I guess this has have been solved. Alright, said Gordon. Let's go. Now, just in a few short seconds, his tears were gone and was acting brave again. You know what's something? Says the trucks. What is it? Said Gordon. You're a crybaby. Oh, I'll be quiet, he said. Gordon was Gordon was fed up by this. He fucked the trucks hard. Oh, fight hard. Why did you do that for? I do not like being called a crybaby, he said. Gordon, we just talked about this, said Henry. The trucks call me a crybaby. What, said Henry? What, said Henry? Trucks, you do not call anyone a crybaby. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Said the trucks rudely and loud. Let's go, said Gordon crossly. I'm tired of you trucks. I'm tired. We bumped the freight cars hard. He bumped the truck too hard, actually. He bumped, he bumped the truck so hard that they would make his way all the way to the docks. He did it so perfectly that the trucks didn't crash or anything. They was just put back in their siding correctly. Wow, Gordon said Henry. That was impressive. Thank you, Henry, said Gordon. Like I'm going to say again. I'm sorry, he said. That's all right, said Henry. But like I said, just not do not do that again. And you know what else you need to do? What, said Gordon? Wait, I know. Go apologize to my other to the friends that I have been mean to. Exactly. Exactly. I'm mean, exact the mentor, said Henry. Exactly. I will say Gordon, and Gordon puffed away to go tell his friends he's sorry.